BT's vision is about using the power of communication to improve people's lives. And ultra broadband is a great part of that journey. You know, whether it's bringing great information into your home, great entertainment, or using it for education. Our business is now built on broadband. It is our main growth product. And customers have a greater and greater demand for speed, so ultra broadband is absolutely critical to our future. We launched 4K this summer with Champions League. And it's been a great new piece of content that we're providing to customers. You know, the, the power of TV and 4K TV for sport is really sort of bringing our service to life. Uh, and we're seeing great initial use of that across many different types of sport. The power of 4K TV really comes through with live football. You know, and what's better than watching Man City versus Arsenal on 4K TV. We should build up a healthy ecosystem to encourage content and application provider to deliver the best experience applications and content to the end users. The big change is from technology driven to customer experience driven. Wonder and operator should work closely to deliver uh, ultra-fast, agile, and flat network. Several years ago, BT um, uh, set out a mission to take uh, super-fast to two-thirds of the UK. Um, what I've led is a programme in Cornwall, partnering with public funding to take those speeds out to the rural areas, using uh, VDSL and GPON. Okay, uh, we've really pioneered those technologies going deep into rural areas. Those technical challenges have been uh, uh, really key, pushing the technologies further, using our own, tech, own uh, engineering and uh, innovation teams, working very closely with engineers and technicians from Hawaii to achieve that. Cornwall's uh, led on that, where we've gotten out to 95% coverage. And I think now, um, as the, uh, the focus starts to shift from super-fast to ultra-fast, um, we've delivered a lot of ultra-fast uh, fiber to the premise in, in Cornwall, but I think G-fast is going to play an incredibly important role to be able to take those speeds, both in urban and rural areas, further, faster, um, with uh, less disruption, lower cost, uh, delivering them with a great customer experience. So I th I'm really excited about uh, the role GFAST is going to play and, and the partnership um, uh, with Huawei on that. There really are tangible benefits and this shows when government and local government get together with the private sector, make joint investment, that it really can win for both sides. So it can win for the private sector in terms of revenues and it wins for the public sector that I work for in terms of our economy. And to give you a few figures, I mean, we're announcing that around £200 million of extra GVA has been created through that £53 million investment, and 3,000 extra jobs have been created with the small and medium-sized enterprises in Cornwall, of which 96% of our businesses are SMEs. So it really has become a major driver for the economy, and we're really proud that we took the risk five years ago to have the vision to make that investment and drive and drive the uh, the rollout of super fast and ultra fast into Cornwall. The ultra fast program, as we're actually deploying it in BT today, builds very strongly on the existing technology and, in particular, the existing infrastructure of the first NGA1 program, the VDSL Muxes. In fact, we couldn't do ultra-fast without reusing that infrastructure. It wouldn't be economic and we'd have to dig up too much of the UK to do it. So being able to build on the existing products and being able to use hybrid products that use VDSL and GFAST technology side by side has been a critical success factor in making this the reality it is today. I'm delighted to be here today at Huntingdon where we're launching our ultra-fast program and this is the first trial. We've already got 22 very happy customers live on the service, including one fibre premium customer. It has worked superbly from end to end, from a programme that actually only started nine months ago. I think this is a great testament to actually how Huawei and BT have cooperated in the area of technical development, silicon development, international standards and deployment. We have got to this place in record time and we've also produced a world-beating product. When we first looked at G.Fast, 
it was an immature technology, but working with Huawei about things like noise floors, uh, bits per tone, emitted power, power density, we've managed to improve all of those things to make this a realistic product for deployment in the local network. And the proof of that is here today that we're actually at this launch event. Yesterday, Gavin Patterson, our CEO, gave a commitment to launch Ultrafast to 10 million homes by 2020. That's also a testament to the confidence that we actually have in this technology and the ability to commercialize it and deploy it in our real network. It's been a great start to the program today. I look forward to working with Huawei in the future on this. The level of technical collaboration, the expertise of the two companies have made this possible. And I think we have to recognize and say a big thank you to the whole of the wider team that's been involved, both in the UK and in China. Huawei and BT have been development partners for G.Fast. Uh, we brought G.Fast into BT's labs uh, over three or four years ago and worked on the standards together, worked on the product features together. And we're really delighted that BT has made a commitment to launch G.Fast and pilot it here in Huntingdon. We've worked together in our labs, in our product teams, in our logistics, and we're delighted that the first customers are now enjoying G.Fast here in Huntingdon.